Hi, this is Peter from PowerDirectorTutorials.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do perspective scrolling. As you can see here, this is a um, a good prime example of this is in the uh, Star Wars movies, the uh, intro text. So let's just take a quick look here at what I mean. So there's a good example, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very very simple. However, there is one catch which I'll get to um, at the end. So let's just uh, prepare our text. Sorry, let's prepare our first scene. So I'm going to insert a color board here. And then we insert some text. Double click the text and just put your own text in there. I prepared some text earlier, so let's put that in there. Adjust the uh, font to our liking. So. I'll go with Arial and make the text white. What we have to do after that is center the text. So center it horizontally and center it vertically. And that's it, we've got our text set up. Next we have to adjust the animation for it. So go to Animation Properties tab, click the object you want to animate, so that's the text here, and choose the starting effect. So the uh, perspective scrolling effect is under Rolling Crawl. And here we go, perspective scroll. And that's it. Just press OK and now let's preview our text here. So as you can see, looking pretty good, but it's uh, really a bit too fast. So just adjust the, the text and adjust the length there. Make sure it's uh, the same size as your, your scene. And let's play that back and see what it looks like. Alright, so that's good. But uh, there's one thing you might notice here. You might notice that the R here is cropped off. And yes, yeah, so the R here is cropped off, so that means the text is the width of the text here is a little too large. So what we have to do is make uh, the width a little smaller. So, so the problem was the R here was a bit over the width. So let's make Grumpy here the maximum width. So that means we have to crop all these lines here so they're not uh, longer than the Grumpy line of text there. So. So that's it. And we have to center our text again horizontally and vertically there. Alright, so that's it. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, that's good. So the text is a good speed. Uh, it's very simple to uh, do, as you can see, however, here's the catch. Just wait till the text disappears. Okay, so that's the scene. We finished the scene. Now, say you want to start on the next scene, but have a look here. We've got a whole... Uh, we've got the rest of the scene here that goes unused, and there's really nothing we can do here. Um, I don't know if this is a bug with the animation effect or this was intended, but... Uh, what that means is, as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of wasted space before we get to the next scene. So what we have to do here is go to Produce and export that first scene. And when that's done, we import our scene. So I've prepared a, I've prepared that clip earlier. So this is our exported scene. So we just put that back onto the track here. Should be here, so we put that back in, and then we can just uh, crop the text to where we want. So, 
Let's just go through this again. So the text ends back here, so all we have to do is just uh, crop that text to about here. Then you can just add your other scenes afterwards. So that's how we do it. Very simple to do, perspective scroll, and however, there is that uh, catch there that you need to be aware of. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Pete here from PowerDirectorTutorials.com.